What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Scribble Knots Unmasked and last time you checked in we actually beat the game and as promised I'm going to do these bonus levels for this video and try to get as many of them done as I can and then be done with this game so let's go ahead and do the Batman origin story and check it out and let's find out exactly how Batman came to be. Batman, who is he and how he came to be? <laughs> My story is one born out of tragedy and we know that. Before that night, I had everything. The night that I lost my parents, I was all alone in the world. Maxwell, find some way to comfort him. Oh, you know what you need? You need... A bat doll. <laughs> From that night forward, I vowed to destroy crime. When I returned to school, there was a bully. He was much bigger than I was, but I needed to learn to be brave. Apply an adjective to him to help him stand up to the bully. How about... Crazed... There we go, he's insane! Uh... Okay, how about... How about tough... And fearless? Yeah, and he's crazed. Get him! Alright, whatever, that worked. <laughs> Criminals are a cowardly, superstitious lot. I knew that I needed a guise to strike terror into their hearts. All right. A creature of the night. But what would it be? Give him something to inspire his costume. How about a feral bat? <laughs> All right, how about just a big old bat? Big bat, the animal. There we go. I had to train my body to physical perfection. Give him something to help him get in shape. How about a, uh, how about a heavy treadmill? <laughs> you can lift that, buddy. Now he's bigger. When I first started fighting crime, I needed to earn the trust of the police. Give Batman something you can use to help Commissioner Gordon. You can use handcuffs, right? There you go, buddy. Uh, how about a how about a batarang? There you go. Use that instead. Oh, I just put in the toxic. Empty that. Hold on. There. Yes. Use his batarang. Oh, now he's in the toxic. That's horrible. That's Joker somehow. Oh dear. I fought all my life for justice. I'm glad I I'm glad to know you're out there fighting the good fight as well. If I won't, who will? I like your attitude. You're one complete. What? All right. Great. That was cool. All right, now we'll do uh, Wonder Woman. Here we go. Now this is the Wonder Woman origin story. Wonder Woman, who she is and how she came to be. I was created by my mother to be the perfect daughter. She told me I was sculpted in clay on Paradise Island. When I was small, the other girls used to make fun of me because of this. She's so sad, Maxwell. Maxwell, find a way to comfort her. How about a lollipop? All little girls like lollipops, especially from people like me. But as I grew, I became an expert hunter, tracker, and athlete. Give her a weapon to hunt. All right, you are going to use a uh, a flimsy bow just to prove that you can do it. There you go. Ouch. Ow, that hurt her. Never mind. Uh, how about how about a uh, a a ninja star? Everyone loves using ninja stars to hunt birds. Got him with a ninja star. Just like you used to. One day there was a contest held on that place. The winter of the trials would become our ambassador to man's world. But my mother had forbidden me from participating. I wanted to prove myself, but I had to do so while in disguise. Give her a disguise, Maxwell. You will wear a clown costume. It's Wonder Woman for you. No, that, what? That doesn't look like a clown. The first contest was a foot race. One. 
As the Amazon's ambassador, ambassador, I would have to learn to bring peace where there was conflict. Because of this, they began, began calling me Wonder Woman. Help her stop this war. You need a nuke to stop a war. Woo! Boom! Let's activate it. Yes. I'll just stand here. Don't mind. Oh, actually, I'll go. Right. There we go. We got this. Blow it up. Stop the war. Yes, that's how you peacefully stop wars. Am I right, guys? No? Okay. Maybe not. Maybe instead. Okay. Maybe instead, Wonder Woman, you need a peace treaty. Treat. A peace treat. Peach treat. There you go. This will definitely stop the war. All right, maybe you need harmony. Uh, a harbor. There you go. And then you need a uh, a fighter jet. There you go. This is what you really need to stop a war, the fighter jet. Look at that, Wonder Woman. Go stop it. Stop the war. Oh my god. Well, what else stops the war? How about money? Money stops the war, right? You can pay him off. What is this? Uh, how about... How about artillery? There you go. Nope. We are not going to stop this war. Dismount. Well, well, what do you need? Do you need like a freaking... Here, here's your lasso. Just do whatever you do with your lasso that you normally do. Stop the war. How do I stop the war? Provide her with someone who creates peace. Oh, okay. Obviously. Obviously. Obama. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, how about the Pope? The Pope creates peace. How about a... Oh, a peace pi a pipe. There you go. Instrument. Play that. Everyone will love it. Oh my God! How about uh, a treaty? Just give her, give him a treaty. There you go. Tr God, you don't have treaties. Uh, oh, how about a treant? Those guys will be bring peace. Arr, I will bring peace. What about a pastor? I mean, who brings peace? There you go. Sit in the. Get in the. What brings peace? Someone who creates peace. The president. There you go. Whatever. There we go. Obama did it finally. Recently, I recently I learned the truth of who my father really was. It was Zeus. Give her something to remind her of the Greek gods. Zeus. Zeus himself will remind her. <laughs> Once I was given an invisible jet as a thanks for a, an act of great heroism. Sometimes, though, it's hard to find. I wonder woman find her invisible jet. Here it is. It's not invisible anymore. That's it. All right, you need night vision uh, goggles. There you go. Find that jet. Oh, you know, you know what would what would work? Powder. Whoosh. Uh, or actually, how about rain? Rain would help you find the invisible jet, right? There you go. I spent my life in training. She picked up the rain cloud. I spent my life in training so that I may help the people of the world. It gladdens my heart to see you and your sister at such a young age willing to help the defenseless. Thank you, Princess Diana. All right. There we go. Rise of the Olympian. I feel so good. Let's go and find out the origin of Superman. This is going to be fun. I, like, I know the origin story of Superman, at least. Superman, who he is and how he came to be. Although Earth is my home, I am not from this world. I was born on the planet Krypton. The day it was destroyed, my parents sent me to Earth. My father knew that Earth's yellow sun would grant me incredible powers. Maxwell, give Superman's parents something to send him to Earth. You need a catapult. That's how you spell it, right? Send him to Earth. Okay. How about just a freaking rocket ship? Let's, just do, let's, stick, with, let's stick with the basics then. Ah! Ship. There we go. Get in, Superman. <laughs> oh, God. This is Superman. <laughs> One fateful day, I discovered that I had an incredible strength. Give Superman something extraordinary to lift. How about a giant cow? Lift that, Superman. You're so strong. Later, I found out that I could fly. Maxwell, help him up into the air. 
flying. <laughs> there you go. I quickly found out that I needed a secret identity so I could live a normal life when I wasn't being Superman. Give something to disguise himself. How about a gorilla suit? This is how Superman disguises himself. Ah, uh, even though I was Superman, I still needed a job. I wanted to work at the Daily Planet News Agency. Max will help Clark get a job at the Daily Planet. Well, here's your resume. Turn that in, buddy. There you go. Whoa. The day I met Lois Lane, I had saved her plane from crashing. Give something to help Superman fix Lois's plane. <laughs> How about he brought a mechanic with him? Yeah. All right, am I right? She's on the plane. She's outside. No, she's... Oh, it's on fire. How about a flying... No, how about a floating? There you go. Fire fighter. And just in case... Come on, I want someone else to do it. Yeah, there you go. Superman saved the day again. <laughs> oh, he's not happy. Due to my alien heritage, Lex Luthor never trusted me. He used kryptonite to try and destroy me. Find him to protect some... Well, I don't know how to protect, to protect him from kryptonite. Oh, yeah, lead. Okay, there we go. I should have known. How about a lead clown costume? <laughs> Wear this clown costume, Superman. Oh, it worked. But he's not a clown. I use my incredible powers to stand up for those who cannot stand up for themselves. I lost one world. I'll never let that happen to this world. How many people have you saved? I don't know, Maxwell, but that's not the point. People need someone to look up to. Someone who can inspire them to fight against the evils of the world. We're lucky to have you, Superman. But don't forget, you can help the people of this world, too. Whenever you see injustice, stand up to it. I'll do my part, Superman. Man of tomorrow. All right. And now, the origin of Aquaman. Da 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 da. I do want to go there. Here we go, guys. Aquaman, who he is and how he came to be. I wasn't always a king, you know. I came from a very humble background. This seems like so long ago, Maxwell. Dr. Shin helped me learn how to control marine life when I still lived on land. Give Aquaman something a fish would want. A fish would want some fish sticks. <laughs> fish stick. There you go. There you go. Fish love fish sticks, right? Or you know what? They freaking like fish tank. Fine. They, they want a fish tank. Get there. I know there's already one there. Whatever. Whoa, look at those fish jump out of there. Holy moly, as my father li lay dying, he bade me to find my mother in Atlantis. I searched it for it for ages. A way to find Atlantis. How about like an old wet map? Or maybe a waterproof map. Oh, a wet map will do. More recently, I claimed the throne of Atlantis. Give Aquaman something fit for a king. How about a sweet licorice crown? <laughs> All right, fine. Not licorice. How about a, uh, let's see, a ladylike clown? <laughs> there you go. The Atlanteans attacked the surface world. I needed the Justice League to help me defeat them. Help Aquaman defeat the invading Atlanteans. Oh man, you took their home, and then you, now you're gonna kill them? All right, the just you want the Justice League, right? Can I just bring the whole Justice League? Because that would be hilarious. There we go. It's so the Justice League, everybody, including yourself. Maxwell, wearing a crown is an immense burden, but I bear it gladly. Part of being a king is protecting your realm, but also protecting other realms. The surface wouldn't be safe from the sea without my constant vigilance. Or perhaps if you hadn't disturbed Atlantis in the first place. And you are a strong protector, Maxwell. The world is lucky to have you. Thank you, King Arthur. Mm, I like the sound of that. King Arthur! All right, don't let it go to your head, buddy. All right, next up, Green Lantern. Let's get to it, the origin of Green Lantern. Who he is and how he came to be. My father was a test pilot. He died when I was still very young. As long as I can remember, I always wanted to fly. Maxwell, give Hal Jordan a way to fly. How about bat wings? <laughs> All right. One day, Abin Sir, the Green Lantern of Space Sector 2814 had crashed in the desert. The Green Lantern's corpse act as an interstellar police force. He told me that I was chosen to be the next Green Lantern because I could overcome fear. And with this ring, not only could I fly, but construct anything I willed. 
Recently, the universe was attacked by the Black Lanterns. They are a group of reanimated corpses led by the Black Hand. They sought to eliminate all life. The only thing that could stop them was to combine all the corpses' powers. That meant everyone joined in, even though the Green Lantern's arch rivals the Sinestro Corps. Maxwell, the Sinestro Corps are powered by fear. Create something that makes people afraid. The Joker. Well, oh, you know what really makes people afraid? A clown. Just, it doesn't even have to be, oh, oh, you, you think he's funny, you know? He's freaking scary. There you go. He's wearing a demon. Uh, everyone still likes him, okay. You know, you know what else makes people? Fear gas. Fair gas. There you go. It's fair gas. Are you scared yet? Okay, okay. Werewolf. Oh, I misspelled that. War Werebore. There we go. Oh, this clown got scared. The star sapphires, including my girlfriend, Carol Ferris, also joined. The star sapphires are powered by love. Create something that reminds people of love. Uh... Nude girls. New girl. Everyone loves new girl. <laughs> the Blue Lantern Corps joins us. They were formed by the banished guardian said. The Blue Lantern spread hope. Create something that gives people hope. Uh. Hope. Uh. Nude woman. <laughs> no. Uh, okay. Hope. Um. The future. The future gives people hope. Fetus. Fetuses give people hope. <laughs> Even Larflees, who is the sole living member of his Orange Lantern Corps, joined the battle. The Orange Lantern is powered by greed. Everybody wants... <laughs> Nude women. <laughs> Nude women. Everyone wants her. She's powered by greed. Okay, no. How about instead, then, of being powered by greed? Let's throw her away, by the way. We're done with you. You served your purpose here. Everyone wants... Uh... Uh, how about a gold vault like like Scrooge McDuck has? I'm trying to be, yeah, like a building. Like a freaking building, my friend. Everyone wants this. Okay, well, you know what everyone wants? Fine. They want they want to throw it up. They want money. Throw it up, throw it up. And finally, the Indigo Tribe, which was founded by the same Aben Sir who gave me my ring, joined us. They're fueled by compassion. Uh, teddy bears? What? I don't know. Teddy compassion? Everyone has compassion. Or how about a injured dog? That will show everyone compassion. Oh my god. Did that work? It was the toughest challenge the corpse has ever faced. Gosh, that sure does sound scary. It was, but it's over now. You know, Maxwell, since your power is a lot like mine, I bet you have a great green you'd make a great green lantern. Thanks, Mr. Jordan. Alright. Well, you know how this goes. Last but not least, the Flash origin story. Now, this is one I actually don't know. I'm kind of curious to find out how the Flash started out. Was it an experiment? I don't know. Probably. I always used to be late. Dates, work, my own graduation ceremony. Before I became the Flash, I was Barry Allen, police lab technician, like Dexter. <laughs> one late night, I was standing next to a cabinet full of chemicals. Maxwell, put some chemicals in that cabinet. Okay. Uh, hydrogen peroxide. There you go. When all of a sudden the cabinet exploded with electricity. Electrify that cabinet somehow. All right, you need a car battery. And you need to, oh, nope, that's all we needed. Cool. When I came to, I saw that I was late for a date with my girlfriend, Iris West. I needed to catch a cab, but I quickly outran it. Maxwell, slow the cab down so that Flash can outrun it. Okay, um, slow. <laughs> Let's just go straight forward there. No? Okay. How about, oh, you know what it needs. We need spikes. Yeah, spike. Like a, like a metal. Ow, oh, that hurt the Flash, whatever. <laughs> my father was jailed for committing murder, a crime that I was sure he didn't commit. I spent all my spare time trying to prove his innocence. Give the Flash the proof uh, of his father's innocence. Oh my god. Well, here's a DNA sample. There you go. This is a uh, sampler. <laughs> a dead sampler. 
This is proof. Look, it's proof. I was always, I always fight for the innocent. Do you know why, Maxwell? Why, Mr. Flash? Because justice must always be swift. Swift, swift. All right. Well, we did all the origin stories. So there we go, guys. Looking at the map. Look at what we've done. We've done it all. And I'd like to thank you guys for being here for the journey. This game is now complete. Uh, I know I've been starting a lot of games lately, but I just want you guys to know that I do plan on completing the games that I've said I will complete. So this hopefully should give you hope. And uh, I will continue playing games like Pikmin 3, The Wonderful 101, and all the other games that I'm playing right now. So see you next time around here on Zach's Out Games. Thanks for liking this video. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.